the query wizard is good for beginners who are just trying to build a basic query. Enter the table and field information and the query wizard takes care of the rest. It is useful when you want to use fields from different tables and when you want a query that summarizes your data. Click on the create tab on the ribbon and then click on the query wizard button in the query section. Select simple query wizard and click on OK. Access displays the first window of the simple query wizard. Use the tables queries list box to choose the first table or query that you want to use fields from. When you select a table or query, fields from that object appear in the available fields list box. Select customers and the fields appear in the available fields list box. Move the fields you want to use in the query from the available fields list to the selected fields list. You can move by double clicking on the field name or by selecting the field name and then clicking the right arrow button. To include all the fields, click on the double right arrows. All the selected fields will move to the selected fields list box. If you add the wrong field, you can move them back to the available fields list. Move the fields back from selected fields list to available fields list by double clicking a field name or by selecting the field name and then clicking the left arrow button. To remove all the fields and start over again, click on the double left arrows. If you are using fields from more than one table, repeat the steps to add fields from the additional tables to the selected fields list and then click on next. For example, add fields from customers and customers details. Customers and customer details are not related. If you include fields from two tables that aren't related, a warning message is displayed. To go back and remove the fields from the non-related table, click on Cancel or click on OK to edit the system relationships. Once you click on OK, Access will take you out of the query wizard and the relationship window opens. After setting up the relationships, you must open the query wizard again. After you select the fields to include in the query, click on Next. Name the query. Select the open the query to view information to see the datasheet view. The wizard builds the query and saves it with the name you entered. Then access displays the results in datasheet view. If the query includes fields with the repetitions or dates used to group the values, the simple query wizard gives you the option of creating either a summary query or a detail query. For example, move all the fields from orders and name from the products to the selected fields. Click on Next. Select Detail. Detail creates a data sheet that lists all records that match the query. You get all the details from those records. Summary tells the wizard that you aren't interested in seeing every single record. You want to see a summary of the information instead. A summary query also called a total query performs calculations on your data to summarize it. Move product ID quantity total from orders 
and name from products to the selected fields in the query wizard. Click on Next. Select Summary. Click on Summary Options to display the Summary Options dialog box where you tell the wizard how to summarize each field. Select the Summary Options from the check boxes for the available functions Sum, Average, Min and Max. Let us select sum for quantity and total. Selecting a count checkbox tells the wizard to create a field that counts the records within each grouping. Click on OK. Click on Finish. Orders are grouped based on product and then quantity and totals are added. Count of orders for each group is displayed. They are calculated columns which can be used in other queries. If you have dates in the query fields, the wizard allows you to group based on different date options like day, month, etc. Move quantity, order date, total from orders and name from category to the selected fields. Click on Next. Select Summary and in Summary Options, select Sum for Quantity and Total and select Count checkbox. Click on Next. Select how you would like to group dates in your query. For example, select Month. Click on Next. Name the query and click on Finish. The orders are grouped by product and month and quantity and totals are added. Count of orders for each group is displayed. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.